Hello, family. This is Rainbow Jesus Sunflower Girl over here. As you know, I have already said my post my goodbye messages. Um, I wasn't really gonna do any more video. Probably just a goodbye message video thing. Um, but the Lord last night has revealed me something really, really important. Um, I mean, if it's an old message, I wouldn't need to share. But this is something actually quite new and it is a present message and it is something that is happening now and it's gonna get worse and it gives us a, a very important clue to tell how close we are at the rapture and the destruction okay so i'm gonna start tell you about what happened yesterday so yesterday I went to my shop to do my weekly shopping, yeah. And the thing on my top list is water. And I, I, why I was, you know, want to buy some water is because, um, I think it's last Friday, Friday the past, um, that uh, UK, uh, UK where I live, England has declared a a drought yeah in part of the country and i live in the part that today the government told us yeah uh, there is a drought and uh, they have banned all the hose pipe and uh, all non-essential things that you know like fill up your swimming pool stuff like that and has been the heat wave has come back again and this, on the news, that it says this drought could last October, uh, October. Okay, so, and that was one of the reason. But you know, this things happens, you know, in the summer all the time. So, it's not something that, you know, it's it's new. Um, but, but I felt I really need to get water this time. In the past, I didn't really care. You know, it's drought is a drought. But this time, I know this time is for real, okay? This drought is not going to go away. This is the thing. In the past, the drought is going away. But this time, the drought is not going away. So I went to the shop. I, the first thing I bought is a bottle of water. So somehow, I bought four dozens. And each dozen comes with six big bottles of water. I think that two liters. And um, mm, so I bought in total... 20 uh 20 i in total i bought 24 bottles four dozens of water and i thought they're gonna sell me by per dozen but when i was gonna pay they said we don't sell them as dozens we sell them by each word each bottle and which you know gonna cost me cost much more than i thought it would be so it was 60p for each bottle of water and in total, it is exactly fourteen pound forty. All right, so that is the price, and this, you know, really surprised me because it's like I didn't notice the number earlier, but only after the Lord gave me put everything together now slide, and then I come back notice this number. What's this number? Four dozen of bottle of water. And for April, you know, I saw lots of things, the door opening. That was the time the Lord showed me, showed me the heavenly tabernacle. Yeah, the door opening, the blind, the ho most holy place. And, and the tabernacle that is not made by main hand, by, by, by the hand of God. So for, to me, that means the door, the portal between heaven and earth. When the door opens, when Jesus comes through the door, okay? 24, 24, and it made me remember the 24 bottle, yeah? Water, yeah? That's how many bottles I bought in total. That is Psalm 24, made me remember. And the, and the scripture, lift up your heads, oh, your gates. Be lifted up your ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in how many times we've been saying lift up your head you know keep focus on the king on the lord not looking down 
not looking anything else going on, but concentrate on Him. Lift up your head, for your salvation draws near. And this number literally means God rules. Okay? And then here comes the 60p each bottle. Now they, now the, the, the number 60, I checked in Strong's, is literally means mourning. Mourning. Why is people mourning? How many times this word mourning used in Old Testament? That is when the destruction comes. That is when, when, the, when, when men are hit, when men are hit by the destruction, and they they feel this, when 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 child, when children and women are taken by the enemy, so mourning that is connected with destruction, and when the wrath of God pours out, yeah, and the total cost of those water. It's fourteen pound forty. So immediately, this number I could be not be more familiar. One hundred forty-four thousand of enacted sailed. The one hundred forty-four thousand that is enacted, that is sailed by the Holy Spirit, that is virgin, that is chosen, that is had will the only one hundred forty-four thousand that knows how to sing the new song has the new name. Yeah, and again, the 144 um, in strong means a perception, understanding, discernment, which to me it means those who seek the God on their own has a personal relationship with God. The sheep who hears the voice of the good shepherd and followed his voice the sheep that did not rely on their own understanding, but relied on the God's understanding and discernment. The sheep that totally submitted and surrendered to the Lord and kept themselves blameless and pure through repeated repentance and kept themselves covered under the precious blood of Jesus Christ and keep holding on to Christ during trial, during the refining process. The sheep that has been, has come out the fire alive. Yeah. So that's the 144,000 will be delivered. Okay. So yes. So this number are very, very much from the Holy Spirit. And it's like a meant to be. I don't even know why I chose so many. I just bought it. All right. So I want you to know what I saw as shop. And uh, so the shop that's many are what I see is that there are many empty shelves. And every time I go to the shop, the price of the food increase. So last time is Yesterday when I went to shop, it's already it's already increased more than the time before I went, yeah, and it's cost me over hundred pound easily, and it's not even a big shop, just you know a normal shop over one hundred one hundred pound weekly shop. That how that how much cost for four people household, right? So it's ridiculous increase the price. And I see everywhere around me that are tired parents, working class people. I see people, they pick up something and they look at the price and then they put it back, which is really, really sad. And I see people so tired and they're just, just sighing. Okay, and they're truly, where it used to be, will be just like, a, you know, full, but now it's half empty, truly. And the people keep putting stuff back to the shelf, all right? And stick to the budget. Have to be. It's tight. It's so tight. And as I was paying for my water, everything, yeah? I just like, you know, droughting. Oh, how much all of this is going to cost? And then I looked around. And I'm just 
you know, I'm calm. I know what's going to happen as if like I'm going to see not long people fighting for food, you know. And, but I am not in panic. I'm just like, you know, um, I'm not in panic. And this, um, because I have come to the realization that we are going to go through drought, famine and sword, you know. No, maybe not me personally, you know, we probably will get out here before, but we probably gonna um, experience the beginning. Yeah. The bad news is gonna come. Yeah, destruction is gonna come, but we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be afraid. So um, the scripture that comes to me is that um, Exodus, Exodus. What um Exodus chapter fourteen verse fourteen one of my favorite script, uh, scripture. So it says, "The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. You need only to be still." And then there's a then other scripture, also a lot of my favorite, First Kings seventeen fourteen. The jar of flour will not be used up, and the jug of oil will not will not run dry until the day the Lord sends rain on the land. So why there is a drought? Yeah, said until the day the Lord sends sends rain on the land. So we are gonna go through this drought period without rain. And I think this is gonna be globally, not just in UK. But for those who trust the Lord, acknowledge his name, fear the Lord, yeah? For, for those who is truly saved, their jar of flour will not be used up. And their jug of oil will not run dry. And that is a promise from the Lord. And it's also prophecy coming true. Because we are going through drought right now. The beginning has the beginning of drought has started already. Yeah? So this is amazing. So, um, and then again, so I was in complete calm and peace, even with realization of the, what time we're at. We're at the beginning of this drought, and it's not going to go away. This time it's going to just go on until the fire until this drought causing that fire and this drought and the war is also will result in famine yeah so i've i'm just like you know even with all of this even i have no bread no oil you know in my cupboard i don't need to be go fight I don't need to panic. I don't need to go buy anything myself. The Lord will send it to my home. He will probably, I don't know, you know, <laughs> he will probably just like send a bird, you know, get me food or something like what he did for Elijah. So I was in complete calm and peace, knowing what is happening and what will happen. And also, this once again reminding my first dream, the dream of the sword of judgment. And this dream is coming true. Yeah. And uh, so in the dream, this doorkeeper, this policeman, he came to me and he greeted me, Shalom. And he said, Do not go out, stay inside. I will get you milk and bread. See, this once again confirmed that we as you know the true follower we do not need to be afraid or worry about food and milk bread the lord himself he will get it for us he said stay inside and this inside could mean usually indoor you know stay inside if we're not gone yet or we're already in heaven in the heavenly in the in we are already in the heavenly safety room and we will be in the land, you know, we, the Lord himself will feed us. 
with milk and honey in heaven. So the 144, so that number. Add, I mean, it is quite interesting because this 144, this is the cost of the water. And this water remind me with holy water. Holy water. So that's the 144,000 has been continuously showered, sanctified, purified by the holy water, has been drinking holy water. Yeah? So when the drought comes, they are not, they are not dry. They are a living fountain within. All right. But so this is not just it because this once again remind me reminded me the last two um um the last two my last two uh dreams about the tribulation dream and time dream the lord gave it to me so uh, you guys can go back find those last two dreams so in the first dream yeah i was i just quickly remind you because this is something to do with this water again when I had this drink, I did not know why both drink has water. I need to buy water. And now I understand. Okay. So in my first drink that I saw the, um, um, I saw the UK, a uh, army, um, army plane. Yeah. A helicopter. Yeah. I saw them in the sky with seats, with soldiers sitting outside. Yeah. Outside of the, um, uh, on the porch of the plane. Yeah. The gate, uh, the door open, um, those long plane, yeah. I saw them for one second, and the next second, the plane just dropped for no reason, and doesn't even look like it's somebody shooting at them. It just dropped, and exploded, and then I saw a a a crowd of people who is wearing the yellow, um, you know, the road worker, the yellow jacket, yeah, the road worker. So they, to me, represent working class people, yeah. And they were very angry and they were protesting first. And they, then they got angry and they, got, they started hating and attacking people, yeah, madly. And I was, you know, I was running and trying to hide. But the first thing I went to do is to go to a shop to get a bottle of water. Just have to in my drink, and when I and this shop I went is a Chinese shop. Yeah, so the owner is Chinese, and I ask him for water, but there is I have no money. And then in this drink, somebody else was there, and he he paid for me, so I got my water. Yeah, by the time I got my water and I went back to my school, the whole school was taken over by a by a ruler, by a, um, um, by somebody, you know, that has control over everything, basically. So that to me could be the Antichrist. The war has taken control the country already. So the enemy, yeah. So I did not understand what the water means, yeah. And then after that, I had another dream about the, about the tribulation war. So in this drink, I was in a village and uh, I saw soldiers preparing for war and then I saw tank coming in and straight away I said, I need water. So I went to again a shop that is owned by Chinese people and I tried to buy some water and again, he's not sending me the water. It's not, oh, it's not that he won't send me. It's like, I'm like, I can't afford it because it's so expensive. I can only afford juice. It's like the water is so expensive, yeah? And so I was like, oh, should I get here? Kind of thing. And, and it's like, and now, and now I'm saying, we are saying this drought and I am buying water. But now water is not overly expensive. So we are at the beginning of the drought and this all come together the sports both drink why am i buying water and then the war has happened and why is it always i always buy from chinese people okay and so what these two drink 
have shown me that is the drought and the war, they come together. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to me. Yeah. So when the drought has come, and when we are low on drinking water, I mean, it's drinking water. It's not water for, for, for shower or anything. It's drinking water, yeah? Um, and the war is here already. And this really reminded me, this scripture that I have shared, shared many times. That is the last chapter, the last chapter of Lamentations, okay? So look at this. I'm, I just want to share this one, yeah? So this is very interesting. So Lamentation, last chapter 5, and go to 4 and 5. So 4, we must buy the water we drink. Our wood can be had only at a price. Those who pursue us are at our heels. We are weary and find no rest. This is mutually my dream. Now I'm reading this. Yeah, this is initially my dream. So we must buy the water we drink. It indicates that we are no longer or have access of getting free tap water. We have to pay for every all the water that we drink. And there is a drought causing the water shortage globally. And those who pursue us at our heels, this means the enemy who invaded us is the one we have to buy water from, water and wood from, yeah? Which means, you know, China is the invader because China is the one who controls the water and the food. And in my dream, both of my dream, I buy water. The owner is Chinese. You could be anybody. Why do they have to be Chinese? But they are Chinese. I buy from. And in this scripture, much confirms with my dream. Okay, so because I wouldn't, I will only say for certain my dreams from the Lord, you know, only if match the scripture. Yeah. Uh, only it grace with the word of God. Then you know it's truly a prophetic dream, a uh, um, prophetic dream, not just from my own mind. So um, now let's go to that. Let's go to so let's go to Isaiah. Uh, sorry, Isaiah. Yes. Isaiah 29, Isaiah 29, 5. Suddenly, in an instant, the Lord Almighty will come with thunder and earthquake and a great noise, with windstorm and tempest flames of devouring fire. So here we know that the destruction, also rapture, will come suddenly. Yeah, they both come together. Okay, and then you go to Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 47, 9. Both of those will overtake you in a moment, on a single day, nor so children and the widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and all your potent spells. And so from this scripture, once again, it agrees with the last one, that the destruction will will come suddenly. How sudden? It will come in one day. In one day. And I know in my spirit, this literally means in a single human day. So a single day, not so children and the widowhood will happen. Yeah. And just like a drought is and the war will happen, comes together. Yeah. They come together. And there is Another scripture to to confirming this message: drought and the war comes together. Yeah, so going to Jeremiah 50, 50 from thirty five to thirty eight. So thirty five, a sword against the Babylonians declares the Lord against those who live in Babylon and against her officials and wise men. A sword against her false prophets. They will become foes, 
a sword against her warriors to be filled with terror, a sword against her horses and chariots and all the foreigners in her ranks to be become women, a sword against her treasures to be plundered. So basically, this sword, you know, I'm pretty sure this sword it is from China, and the Babylon is America. And together with other European countries, so their officials, their officials and the wise men, they will be gone, and the false prophets they will be gone, and their 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 warriors they will be gone, and their horses, their 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 the machine guns, the tanks, their war machines they will be useless, they will be gone. Yeah. And their treasures, they will be taken. So the land will be plundered. Plundered. So that is the sword, yeah. And then read thirty-eight. A drought on her waters, they will dry up, for it is a land of idols. Idols that will go mad with terror. So see, here first see this is sword and a drought. They come together basically. They come together. They are coming together. The sword is the judgment, yeah. But the drought is because because they worship the idols. They worship the idol idols. They only cared about the physical water. They did not care about the spiritual holy water. So now the Lord is literally dry up the spiritual and the physical water. So this scripture, um, once again, and、um, confirming that the sword and the drought together with my dream, it they come together, yeah, the war. And、uh, why is this so important? Because now we are at the beginning of experience this drought, and this drought will not end as First Kings seventeen fourteen says until the Lord sends rain on the land. And when the Lord sends rain on the land, on the land, the Lord won't send rain on the land until the end of a great tribulation. I think, but also this rain means our rapture, the day we receive our promised land, because the Lord made it very clear that He will, that He will destroy this world, this time, not by flood. But by by drought, by fire, yeah, by fire, yes, the wrath of his, the fire of his wrath. But we don't need to be worried. This is the thing. We don't need to be worried. So, um, I want to go to Psalm one hundred to thirteen. The Lord have showed me the other day. It says, "You will arise." And have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come. So when the Lord showed me, I know indeed the appointed time has come, to fulfill His promises, and to to revenge, to revenge for all of His people. And you go to some. And and again, you look at the word arise, arise, yeah, and that means the Lord He is coming. Psalm one hundred nineteen sixty two, at midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. We rise as our Lord rise. When our Lord rise, we rise. As He has risen, we will be risen. So one day we will rise and we will be gone with him. So go to Psalm one hundred twelve and seven. He will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is secure. He will have no fear. In the end, he will look in triumph on his foes. So with this one, you know, this is how I felt. When I was standing in the shop buying the water, I say what's coming next. You know, there's no point in worry because these things, or even praying because they're gonna come. This is the plan of our Lord, His will. 
and I had no fear, and my heart was secure, because I know we are fully protected. Because we, I know that the blindness are under the care of the Lord. The Lord is the one who take care of us. Not the world, not even your family. Is the Lord? He personally taking care of you. Yeah, the blindness one. So, once again, I want to share the, this one last message. And I love this message. Philippians, one chapter one six, and I am convinced and sure of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you, will continue, until the day. That is right up to the time of his return. Until the day, which day? Is the day right up to the time of his return, the day of Jesus Christ. Developing. And perfecting. So, what is developing? Developing is that good work, your good work, the the, the work you, he have called you to do, and perfecting, and bring it to full completion in you. And I personally, really, I experience this scripture, I experience, and now it feels like you know. It's a good time for me to say goodbye. This is how I felt, um, with my journey. Now I have come to the end, and I am just gonna say, with a sincere and honest heart, as I always, you know, try my best to have. Do, before the Lord started to allow me to, you know, called me to preach online, with dreams, gave me dreams, visions. Um, before that, I was just a person. Who is determined to find out who the Lord truly is? Because I was study with Jehovah Witnesses, and I found out they are false religion, and they are a cult. So I got it out, and at that time I was determined. I will not rely on anybody else. No human, no church, no organization. I am gonna find out who God is by myself. I'm gonna read the Bible, study until I am satisfied, and that was what I did every day. I did not know repentance. I did not know prayer. I did not even know if Jesus is the tr Trinity God. I didn't know Trinity God. I didn't know um dreams, visions. I did not know um Holy Spirit personally, and I learned all of that. Because, because the desire of me is so deep, wanting to know Him, and I know if I find Him, then I have find the eternal life, and once I have found Him, I know that He is worthy of me to pursue with all my strength, energy, and with my whole life. I may be, you know, an unsuccessful person in this world, have done nothing with my life. Just a man, you know, and <laughs> but I want to be successful in pursuing God. It only matters what God says about me. His opinion about me is the only thing matters. And I pursued him so hard. I was a quitter, but God is the one thing I did not quit. I did not quit. So, you know. So yeah. So every day, that's me. <laughs> that's me. That's my sister. That's my brother. <laughs> my sister, she is in heaven now. So I'm gonna see her soon. Damn. That's me. I probably when I was around twelve. So I was in pursuit of finding out where my sister went. And when I found Jesus, I know where exactly my sister went, and I wanted to know how to get there. And now I have found my way. The only way for me to have eternal happiness, eternal life, eternal joy, eternal peace, 
and to spend eternity with my family, my friends, all of you, my heavenly family. That is hold on to Jesus. That is follow Jesus. No matter how hard it is. At all cost. At all cost. Follow him. So once I started study Bible myself, I I kind of I just uh, you know did it in my own time. I would do my housework and then I would get my Bible, get a cup of tea, get my notebook, and I read and write everything down on my thoughts, everything, yeah. So I just and my prayer, everything, um and, and the desire grows. The love and the passion and desire for God grows stronger and stronger and stronger as I study more and uh, to live his word more. Um, and uh, that's all I spend my spare time to do, to, to study Bible. I love his word. I just love every single word of his. Um, it satisfies my heart so much and brings me so much comfort. And uh, so that's all I did. And then until one day, God gave me a dream. And that has, it's like before he's preparing me. I was writing all those things down. And I, I don't even know why. I asked myself, why do I write everything down on my notebook? It's not like, it's not like anybody going to read it. And I don't even think I'm going to read it myself back. And I just know I need to write it down, you know. And then God start giving me dreams, visions, and you know, and and reveal me the bride, the rapture, everything. And then I went back, started to share my load book with you. And then I suddenly realized this is why God want me to write everything down. And I would have never thought, you know, me a year I would share my note, my study with you, but then. I did that. God used me. It's like, um, you know, before he was preparing me, I was on standby, yeah? And then suddenly he said, the time has come for me to use you. So he is like, a, he is like a, a, a master, a chess player. And I am a piece of chess, like all of you, yeah? And the, I am the chess that he's chosen, not because I'm good, Purely because I have the desire of being used by him. And I want to glorify his name. It's very important for anybody who to want to be used by God. You have to be, you have to be, have the right attention. Your attention shouldn't be serve yourself or glorious, glorify yourself. Your attention should be glorify God. Yeah, so that is like, you know, I, I just want to do anything to please him. So he used, I was on this chess piece on the chessboard. I was on standby waiting for him to use me. Yeah, so I started his word, get ready, prepared. And when the time comes, then he suddenly he gave me a dream, you know, say, rainbow, this is the time I use you. So he moved me around. He moved me. With his own hand, his own hand was up on me. When I had my dream, I felt his hand on me so powerful, the Holy Spirit. You will know a dream from God, you know, because you feel the power that is undeniable, okay? So his hand was on me. He lifted me up and he kicked the devil's butt. He kicked the devil's butt and it feels so good. It feels so good. So that was the process he brought, the adventure, the journey he brought me. That was my purpose. And then he gave me the, you know, the, my, my last dream, the yellow crack shoes. And then with the, uh, the lion cup zomba on it. And it's yellow. And he was using me as his lion cup to, 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 to walking in his shoes, to do his will. Yeah, he used me to, to, to answer the enemy as he used Job and all the other sins in the past and all of you, brothers and sisters, to kick the devil's butt, to answer him, to answer him, to prove him that we will love no one except our God. Yeah, so to kick 
so so the, this is fully out we are the chess piece in his hand and the journey he was being using me yeah it's the time he lifted me up he used me to kick the devil's butt <laughs> to preach the good news and to prepare him the people who is still sleepy to wake the world up to help the other bride to get ready and now i felt that right now i'm as i'm making this message i felt that he's saying you know this is the last move you need to do i'm putting you back now you only need to be still and trust me you only need to be still and trust me because i am gonna destroy the whole chessboard and i'm gonna gather my chess my people back into my safety treasure box and i am gonna rise up get up and take them home with me for those who was waiting to be used by me who obeyed me trust me it's time for me to take them home you have served me faithfully you know for a long time i would not accept it's silly i would not accept that i have done any good job i was just so fair of god even jesus said come you know you have done a good job and all of you tell me you know rainbow you have done a good job i just would not allow anybody to you know jesus to pat my shoulder and because i i i just every day i just keep say, saying is there anything i have done not enough not done enough you know um please tell me what sin i have please expose my sin to me i need to know i need to know i was just also i was just so afraid there's something i have missed there's a sin i did not deal with there is um, there is some moment i did not follow the holy spirit's voice in any way i did not displease that god i won't i'm very i think many you know who tr truly serve the lord they are very harsh on themselves but today finally i have this confidence and i am like you know i do <laughs> 